what is up everybody easy easy street gaming doing what could be the last video before the update here it is wait it's saturday we might do another one sunday well hopefully the update's coming soon just wanted to show everyone a few things first this is what you should be doing too uh, we, we decided to record this one on too easy so this is what we're doing stacking up on everything we can get our hands on we're raiding we, right now we have the minion event going on um, I'm actually building <laughs> building raids with like 70 80 minions in it uh, we're up to captain's log three I believe I've heard that they have five so I don't know what they're gonna do maybe they'll play one Monday maybe they'll play one tomorrow who knows um, this is not an update video I just wanted to kind of touch base with that because that's what everything is kind of leaning towards and uh, this this update that's just around the corner I kind of laugh if it's so a month away the longest hype of all time so anyway getting back to the actual video uh, last war we've been having a lot smaller wars trying to control uh, the actual war a little more than we have been you know we had we've, we've done 50 50s we've done 40 40s we've done every single type of war you can do but these last few we've, we've really cut down on the number I think this is a 15 15 here and had some great results uh, this is our this is a new guy to the clan nightwolf 24 he's our number two guy and let me tell you he just smashes it at, at town hall 11 using the he's using the lava loon lava loony in and um, one of the impressive things that I've seen is he's taken on these bases and he has great patience with the warden's ability uh, he really pushes the troops really fast up into the core of the base and holds off on that warden's ability. Most of the time you'll see him use the ability right there in the core. But if he had done that here, then these backside air defenses would have smashed up on, on, the, on the balloons. He holds off on the warden's ability. Uh, easily takes care of that one, that one air defense on the, on the top left. And then, you know, these bases, they weren't the smartest setups in the world. I mean, this is their number one, and you can see it's not very heavily update upgraded, uh, even though it's sitting at number one. And we've seen these island type bases, and in Town Hall 11 they do work, but in this case here, even though they pushed his balloons all the way around the outside of the base, now the 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 the, the goal. Wow, I'll say it eventually. The goal on these bases are to number one is to stretch the offense out as much as possible. And that kind of weakens the offense, so it's not concentrated in one spot. And if you do manage to concentrate your offense in one spot, then the base is so big that you can't get the troops to cover the whole base in the time allotted. So that, that's that's the challenge that you're going for. And actually, at the end of this attack, you can see that uh, the the only strength of the base actually kind of shines through because you see how the balloons they take out uh, the second to last defense all the way up in the top, and because they left one defense all the way on the bottom. The, pretty much the rest of the uh, of the army is going all the way crossing the entire board to get down to the bottom to take care of that one last defense but because he was able to hammer this base so hard at the beginning it, it, it didn't matter he he he, he manages to get all the all of the uh, defenses out of the way and then even though he only has what four or five balloons left between the four and five balloons between the queen which he still has and the warden doing this attack doing this attack and the next one without the king so that's pretty impressive that town hall 11 to, to three star without the king or, or without any hero for that matter is pretty strong okay so i decided to do back to back oh and by the way we have all kinds of different intros testing out all the different intros in this video so you're going to see all kinds of different intros uh some like i like some of them are kind of i don't know Tell me if you like it down in the comment section So second attack same as the first same army composition as the first same goal as the first He, he put puts three uh, hay spells to start off the raid puts a big giant line of balloons in Gets the balloons into the core of the base uses a couple of free spells in the core of the base here uh, The warden just parks himself right in the middle of all the balloons uses the warden's ability at a perfect time again Right as those balloons are hitting those backside air defenses uh, get, I mean he gets over the air defenses with the balloons while they're still in the warden's ability he Still has a lava hound up after the air defenses are down. So that's pretty good And uh, we've got plenty of troops left here uh, If you've noticed the clan castle troops haven't really got into the game at all 
Um, all the skeletons are ground based, so you know I'm I'm wondering how active or, or at least how active the uh, the research is on this clan, because if you still have your skeletons set on ground at this point at this day and age, then you're you're missing out on what's really going on because everything is air. Um, maybe after this war they'll figure it out, but. Has to use the Queen's ability here. I believe he's, he gets a, a Valkyrie and a, a couple other troops on him there. And because there's no more defenses left and all the Clan Castle troops are all set on ground, you know he's going to be able to get around the base. Uh, with, get, get around the base with what he has. It's just a matter of time again. And both of these attacks, they stretch the time limit out to the max. But he's still, you know, a bunch of troops left. Got four or five balloons left, a bunch of pups left. Still has the warden up. I believe the queen is still up, so I, I mean that's a lot of troops to have at the end of a raid, especially at Town Hall 11. So this next attack by Guy. Now this is something you don't see every day. This is the slap, which is a common attack actually for, uh, at the upper end, Town Hall 9 through 11. Uh, we use it in Town Hall 9 with the bowlers in the clan castle. Town Hall 10, we use it a lot. And then Town Hall 11, we use it a lot too. But this is actually going to bring a, bring a P.E.K.K.A. in with it uh, to help tank. And he pulls the clan castle troops. Not the best location for a clan castle. If you're if they're pulling your clan castle troops out before they go through the first wall, you, you have to reconsider where that clan castle is. That's just not, that's not a good idea. He puts a bunch of troops in and sets off the uh, sets off the Eagle Artillery pretty early. And Earthquakes, as he's getting up to the walls, and the troops just go right straight to the core. Use the Warden's ability to help save on some of the troops' health as the Eagle Artillery is shooting at it. Freezes the Eagle Artillery, manages to catch one of the Inferno Towers. He's got bowlers in the middle. And just watch some of these second bounces. I mean, he's got... The, the second bounces on this are key in this attack. Um... He gets as many defenses on the second bounce as he does in the first bounce, and I noticed that later on um, we have another we have another replay from Michael Man. He got the same he got that same kind of action. The bowlers, um, you know, I'd like to pay attention to the troops, especially before the updates. And the bowlers are one of the troops that I've really kept my eye on because of how popular they are and how strong they 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 were, and they got a little nerf. They they haven't been used quite as much after that. But right now they're they're playing pretty well, so I don't think that we're going to see any kind of changes coming from it in the update. I think by now, if there was any kind of changes coming, I, I'm a firm believer that they slip in some of these um, some of these balancing changes before the update happens. <laughs> I know some people disagree with that, but I, I've seen them. Maybe it's just me, but I think I've seen a lot of changes before the updates actually happen. I think they watch some of this stuff before they actually go live publicly. Which would be smart. They can make some. More, they can adjust things before the actual update comes, and people complain about troops being overpowered. So, guy gets right down to the last troop, and he's actually going toe to toe with the uh, wizard tower right at the end. Takes care of it. So, pretty effective war so far up top. Three, three, three stars on Town Hall 11s. <laughs> now that's an impressive start to an attack. Laying down the the rose petals. I didn't just do that because that was my attack though. So this is easy. This is on a pretty well. This is a pretty good uh, Town Hall 10. Don't have any of the max walls, but I believe this is they got the max uh, max Town Hall 9 walls, which you, you know the, that's those are those are tough walls. Uh, coming in here with the flex. The flex is one of Damage Inc's uh, attacks. If you watched any of our videos in the past, we have this all over our channel. Uh, what this is is this is a bowler walk, a queen walk. And um, object is of the two walks is to keep them both on the outside of the walls. So now, right away, the bowlers go inside the base. So that worried me right away. But they managed to get inside the base. They're in the core right now. I've already used all the spells to try to keep them alive. Well, I really want the bowlers to stay alive through the main part of the attack. Even though they're not the main troop in the, for the core. The main troop for the core is actually the Valkyries. And at this point of the attack, you don't really see that many troops, but they're all piled up on top of each other. And here comes some more of those second hits from the bowlers. The bowlers are, are thrown down on the on the storage. They get the back end um, building there. They're thrown down on the air defense. They get the, the arch tower in the backside. 
And, uh, and now, here comes a big part of this attack, which is the Giants. I mean, when I first started playing this game, Giants were not part of War Parties. Or at least not part of ours. We never used Giants, we used Golems every time. But now, I'll use the Giants over Golems just because, unless they happen to hit several sets of giant bombs, the triple or quadruple giant bombs, which can take them all out. Um, they can spread out a little bit and spread out those hit points over se over several different defenses. And they're just soaking up damage from all these different defenses. The healers are keeping them up. And they're just able to, to keep all of this damage off of some of the primary troops in, in the attack. So as the... Uh, as as the giants numbers are starting to dwindle, you know, there's nothing to fight back on these uh, on these ground-based skeletons. Uh, hitting a couple traps, the healer manages to keep the giants alive, and the queen is going to come in to the base and, and, and just basically wipe out all these trash buildings really quick. Uh, queen is level 35, not quite maxed yet for Town Hall 10, but at level 35, let me tell you, that is a that's a tough queen for 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 Town Hall 10. Can't wait to have a max max queen, max king. I believe I, I'm I'm really holding out, and anyone that's in my shoes at Town Hall 10, level 35 queen. I think my king is 27 or something like that now. I'm trying to get both of them maxed out. Trying to max out the walls before I go to Town Hall 11, and it's a hard thing to do because Town Hall 11 is so much stronger than Town Hall 10 that it's tempting for me to just make the jump ahead of time. You know, holding out for some of these uh, big upgrade up, upgrades is uh, something else. Oh, and we had the return of Strawberry Jam. He's been a longtime member of ours. Right now, he's been on tour in India for two or three months. And he, boy, he's been missed in the clan. Came back and immediately made his presence felt. And <laughs> I've heard other, I, I believe I heard about Power Bang. He was in a... Um, I don't know if it was in a, one of his videos or in a live stream and someone asked him what his favorite troop was and he said the baby dragons were we have a couple guys in our clan that use the baby dragons and if this attack right here doesn't illustrate the strength of the baby dragons I don't know what does as the as as he comes in he's clearing out a, almost the whole side of the base with the baby dragons before he comes in with his actual main part of his army which is more baby dragons a bunch of balloons um, Comes in with a lava hound out of the clan castle, uses the rage spell, and he actually has the best placement of a spell of all time coming up here in a few minutes. I've already watched this one time. So, lava hound, I believe it lives through this air defense, and as he's coming up to, towards the core, he's got a bunch of defenses in the core. Lava hound pops. Now, this is trouble right here. He's only got a few balloons, and he's coming up to a big cluster of defenses. Uh, the, the air sweeper blows back the balloons. They all die. He's down to two or three balloons. Then he drops the freeze spell. And look at this placement. Bam. Freeze spells down. Into the haste spell goes the balloons. There goes one defense. There goes two. There goes three. Only thing left now is the sweeper. No defenses left. But it wouldn't have mattered. Because if you want to count, there's nine baby dragons left. Nine. I mean, damn, nine baby dragons. Don't know how many he brought to begin with. <laughs> but at the end of an attack, when with nine baby dragons left, you, you have to wonder about the base. <laughs> if that was me attacking, I would have died about halfway through the attack, just so you know. He started off with 16 baby dragons. He, he lost seven of them. So, this is Michael Mann. We call this the dip. For anyone that wants to know what a dip is, this is when a Town Hall 10 drops down to, to attack a Town Hall 9. And Michael Mann has been in the clan since day one. He was actually in the old clan that I joined when I first joined Clash of Clans. And he came over, he, he helped create Damage Inc. with us. And we asked him to do the unspeakable, which was go to Town Hall 10 long before he was ready. Because at that time, we. At least I didn't understand exactly how everything plays out and, and what and what kind of effect rushing to Town Hall 10 would do. But he did that for us so he could donate some of those max troops. And in doing so, he kind of hurt himself. And it has taken him a while to get back on his feet. 
but now as he slowly moved up into having I believe his heroes are now like 16 17 18 somewhere in that area um, now he's able to attack Town Hall 10s and three-star them regularly and when he asked to dip down to Town Hall 9 it's devastating he comes down there with bowlers and just smashes on them well he's one of the guys in the clan that doesn't get a lot of, uh, of time on the channel because we don't usually show a lot of the dip attacks and that's what we ask him to do a lot But, you know, um, I've seen a lot of people talking about it lately. You know, it's kind of one of those, it's one of the things that um, you don't hear a lot of YouTubers talk about because what attracts people to your YouTube channel is is the is the heads up 10 vs 10 or 11 vs 11. Because people expect the Town Hall 10 to, uh, to 3 star the Town Hall 9s. But honestly, those are really important attacks in a clan war. And they don't always go your way. They, you know, you may have a Town Hall 10. You're expected to three star every time at, at the Town Hall nines. Uh, you're attacking a base that's been attacked six times with other Town Hall nines. No one can three star it. And then you go up there with a Town Hall 10, and you look stupid when you can't three star it. So it does take some talent to still to dip down and three star every time. So last attack in the video. This is this is Flex's little account, little Luger. He's gonna get done with uh, with a balloon attack, and these are level five balloons. It's actually a Loonian, but which is balloons and minions. And in that town hall eight, there's a there's a couple of really really big factors and, and really important things you have to do at town hall eight. First thing is you have to kill the clan castle troops. You cannot just take on max clan castle troops at town hall eight. You just don't have the numbers. And if he hadn't taken out that baby dragon before he put in these balloons, these beautiful red balloons, that one baby dragon would have literally, literally wiped every one of those balloons out in about 40 seconds or 30 seconds. So he pulls the clan castle troops, kills the clan castle troops, he comes in, he uses the uh, clan castle balloons on the back end, and he angles it to where he can put in one spell, and that, and that one spell is going to cover, let's see, one, two, three, four, five defenses all in under four seconds <laughs> and they're not even close to being dead so here I mean we already know the balloons are overpowered I, we're all kind of worried that the balloons might get a little nerf during this next update I'm hoping not I'm hoping that people can just adjust their bases like we have we've had to do a lot of base adjustments to try to overcome the, these damn balloons <laughs> So, nice three star, great war, war win 193, it was kind of cool to make a video on the big screen for the first time, actually you can see the attacks, which was great. So listen, we're trying to get people in the clan, we got 30 members, we got a bunch in the feeder clan, but we're looking for more members in Damage Inc. Come to our website, www.damageinkcoc.com, we have a bunch of information there as far as how to get in the clan, uh, who we're looking for, how to qualify, all that good stuff. So. Everyone out there watching, appreciate you for watching. If you're here to the end, thank you for that. Uh, if you haven't subbed to the channel, sub to the channel. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.